Okay, so we have this question we have with a height of 67 inches. William was the shortest president of a particular club in the past century. Pretty short. The club president of the past century um, has had a mean height of 74.5 inches and a standard deviation of 1.1. What is the positive difference between William's height and the mean? So all this is asking you, part A, part A, is to find 67 minus 74.5. So get your nice little trusty calculators out. 67 minus 74.5. And you get negative 7.5, but it said the positive difference. So in other words, um, 7.5 inches. And then it says, how many standard deviations is that, this difference? Um, in other words, how many standard deviations is he away from the mean? Remember, a standard deviation is basically based on, so if I drew a normal curve, a bell-shaped curve, and we're saying that the mean is 74.5 inches, and he's over here somewhere at 67. I want to know in standard deviations how far away that is from the mean. Well, you're going to see that that's what's called a z-score. If I take 67 minus 74.5, and I divide it by the standard deviation, which is 1.1. If I absolute value this, because it's wanting, wanting to know um, how many standard deviations, then I get 6.82. So in part C, the difference is, is if I standardize this data to a mean of zero, then how many standard deviations um, is he below the mean? And it's that same number. And this is, this is really important that you understand what a z-score is. A z-score is if I standardized my data, <coughs> excuse me, meaning I standardized my mean to zero, I know how far I'm either below the mean, if it's negative and it's negative, or above the mean, all right? Because we're going to use these z-scores. And then part D asks, um, is this unusual? Well, yeah, it's definitely unusual because as you'll see in this lesson where we talk about um, if you're three standard deviations below and above the mean, that's 99.7% of our data. So he's even way below that. And so that's what this is asking about the unusual. But definitely get those z-scores down of, of the meaning of them. A z-score is when you standardize your data, how many standard devi deviations you are either above or, in this case, this example, below the mean. And that's it.